So you were mentioning that you were you know Initial D very well and all mm. that anime, but I'm curious. Do you know actually like any other anime or any other? Are you into any anime? Okay. You are on an anime podcast. Yeah. Right? Okay. So the um <laughs> one of the, anime, anime podcast. podcast. Okay. <laughs> one of the things that made me a bit more confident to reach out to you guys was that I used to be massively like into anime a long Hell time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like how long ago are we talking? Okay. So it's 2020 now. I was in probably like middle school, high school. So like we're talking like 1994, I'd say was 92, 93, 94. Was Fuck, when you I were in high school before Damn, I was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was two years old. This is the era of, uh, you know, VHS rental tapes and- Right, right, of like course. Just going forward, like, you know, uh, people, you know, IRC list serves and stuff like downloading <laughs> random, you know, getting throttled, you know, downloading too much stuff, swapping CDs and, you know, things like that. Burning so, CDs. so how, how did you get anime back then? How did you get, how does one get into anime back then? What was, what was like the entry point? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, probably, I mean, most people say like, oh yeah, I saw, uh, what, what was the actual name for Macross? Uh, Robo, like Robotech. Robotech, 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 Robotech things yeah. like that. Like, okay, so every time I would see, and this sort of, I, I watched the uh, the podcast with um, uh, with Chris. Yeah, when he talked about this sort of thing, where just every time you see something from Japan, there was just something about it that just kind of resonated. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you just see like, yeah, I, I, this is my aesthetic. I like this. Yeah. So every time I saw, and sometimes you know, you don't realize what it is, and you're like, oh, back in, you know, oh, that was actually a Japanese anime, right? Or like even stuff like Inspect the Gadget, which was, you know, it was a French, all those French. Japanese mm. productions back then. Like ah, I just, yeah, okay. I, I, there's something about it cause it was animated in Japan. Yeah. yeah. And slowly, slowly it just starts to be like, you see this tape at the Civic Video, which is my local rental shop. Like, what is this crazy looking thing? This rated R18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you take it to the can and like, <laughs> cause like, they don't care. It's like, oh, it's, it's just some animation. Yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's yeah. like, you know, um, uh, Wicked City and things oh, like that. Oh, I love Wicked City, dude. <laughs> so, you, so you got into anime during like the fucking the, eight, the, 80s, 90s OVA the boom. Manga, where, oh. The manga VHS era. Oh yeah. my God. That's, it was, um, yeah, it that, was amazing. Everything, every, I just go there and rent that stuff and it just, it just you know, went from there. To, uh, that was kind of like a golden age in and of itself. Wasn't yeah, because it? it was like everything you could like, Anime was so brutal back then. Oh, yeah. Everything was Devil Man Cry Baby. Yeah, yeah pretty much. You know what I mean? Like Wicked City, Ninja Scroll, yeah. Yeah, Vampire yeah. Hunter, yeah, Violence Jack, yeah. like, shit like that. It was just like so like, fucked up, Cyber but it was City, so good. Cyber City Oedo 808. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Akira. So th I'm actually wearing, this is the my Akira shirt. That's such oh, a God. sick Akira oh, shirt too. Right? So this is, I, this is about 20 something years old. I just thought I'd oh, wear it. Oh, shirt. wow. I just wear it here today. Uh, all the, again, Akira, all that sort of mm. stuff. It just like blows your mind. Like, oh, this is so cool. And it was just, always you know enjoyable um any sort of media you can just get your hands on uh back then like the uk video game magazines were very good with that sort of thing like they'd what they they, they what, you don't know about that no so there was a from what i could tell there was a huge like imports like gray import scene back in the day for oh. video games so people would, just, would they'd be playing like japanese stuff all the time and the, these certain video game magazines they'd feature a lot of japanese content i, oh. I do remember like roughly having some memory of seeing a lot of Japanese stuff growing up, which is why I think eventually I did get into it because yeah, I right. always thought like every, like you said, every time you see it, you're like, man, that's really fucking yeah. cool. Like yeah. it always <laughs> just happened to be Japanese stuff. That was yeah. always the thing that stuck, like stuck out to me. Yeah. So was it like a, like a Nintendo power, but like not a legit Nintendo We had a Nintendo lot of those power? in the UK. Yeah, there were a lot of, own, yeah, own like brand I forget ones. what it was called, Hyper. It was called Hyper. Oh, I, I, Hyper. That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a magazine called Hyper. And I've managed to find a, a big like download dump of it a while, like every year. Issue scan. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, I remember this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gaming publications in the UK and stuff like that were huge for mm. a very long time. C V yeah. and G or whatever it was called. I can't remember, but I remember that there was yeah. just like everyone had demo discs from mm. the magazine. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I remember those days. The PS1 demo discs yeah, that PS1, you get with PS2. the, the we free that magazine. Australia too, we did we? have that. We, we did yeah. that. And just stuff would be, you know, you'd there'd be like some sort of video game where you'd see it and it's like, you'd find out later like, oh, that was actually a really, like, it was like a Japanese game. Yep. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That particular sort of thing, right? Yeah. So, I mean, look, it, it, and it just, it snowballed from there. I didn't have any friends who were into it in-, in Same, you know, so. yeah. My, my school, no, nobody, not oh, even yeah. like maybe like one kid from Hong Kong who like kind of like Dragon Ball. Like that was <laughs> Why is it always Dragon Ball? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. So yeah, you have like some of the little cards, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. And you know, 
it got to the point where it was things like going to specialty shops and like ordering. Like say, I remember I bought the, uh, when Evangelion came out, like the movie, yeah, I right. ordered the VHS tape because it first came out on VHS. Yeah. No subtitles. I wanted the best, the highest quality. And I downloaded the script. No. So my- <laughs> You're like reading a lot. My original, <laughs> yeah. My, my original experience of the Ava movie was oh sitting there going- God. You were fan subbing yourself. I was there, yeah. <laughs> like, li- you were like live fan subbing yeah. Evangelion. That's crazy. I, oh my God. Dude, I swear, I, like, I, f- I feel that, but like, this is embarrassing. I, when I watched fucking like Shakespeare and like the Globe Theater, I couldn't yeah. fucking understand it. <laughs> Cause they, they, they talk in like a, an older version. I don't yeah. know what type of English it's called. Ye old yeah, speak. Ye olde English. English. Like, I was like fucking online, like following the story. I'm like, oh, oh, this is that part. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't understand a fucking thing, but obviously yours is a lot more yeah. you well, know, understandable. Same, no, same thing, but you, you get it, it's like, but it, um, unfortunately there's that one scene where, can I spoil it or not? Is it uh, old enough? It's spoiler, old, spoiler alert. Yeah. Also it's fucking Ava. Yeah. Why haven't you watched Ava yet? Where where Asuka gets stabbed through the head and they're ripped apart. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I, I accidentally read that too early. <laughs> 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 and she's like one of my favorite. She's like one of my favorite characters. Like you know, uh, you know, Eva gets violently ripped apart. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then they all die. <laughs> 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 I remember feeling it was like two in the morning because I remember feeling sick. I was like, "Oh my god!" No. Like, oh. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a it was a thing, man. Like, yeah. So it just that was, was a brutal yeah. scene, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so it just it brought it went from there. Then <laughs> you know, DVD on a script. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel old when I talk about talk about hard coded fan subs. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And, and now we're talking about fuck fuck hard coded fan subs. How about print on paper script. printed paper print fan subs? Out. <laughs> so you printed out like twenty five sheets of paper. It was it was about that thing. Oh. Did, you, did, you have, did, did they have like translation notes and everything to like? No, no, it was, like, it was, it was pretty good. Cake plan. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. Like it was, it was designed for people to read, a, like to read and watch. Like, right, they, right, they right. Typeset it pretty well. Yeah, it was. It was That's crazy. I downloaded off like some sold some um, you know something like some weird, weird website. Yeah. So you're like yeah. more of an OG anime fan than any of us. Dude, yeah. we would we do things like where we'd swap. VHS tapes, like you, what you do you is you watch. Yeah, I've, I've heard about, I've heard yeah, you'd about You'd have that. like your list of all your content. You'd mm, have that right. like somewhere. And then people you're friends with, like they'd say, hey, can, do you, I want that. What do you want from mine? And you'd make a copy of the tape <laughs> oh and send God. it to each other. <laughs> That's, That's so, so fun. 